talking out of my ass, number 70. And this, my 70th edition tape recording of my asshole talking into a microphone, which converts analog signals to digital signals in the form of ones and zeros, which is then Um, which is then stored onto a form of storage and then it's transmitted electronically via some wires and outer router and onto a global network that goes onto YouTube's uh, hard drives, their servers and whatever, whatever they ser wherever they store their servers at which they pay for they pay for those servers and they house the servers and air-conditioned rooms it all cost money billions I don't know millions billions who knows who knows who knows where YouTube servers are and how much it costs to cool them because they do get hot those server rooms you gotta pay for air conditioning to maintain you know a certain level of coolness or, or otherwise I don't know I guess it's not good for servers to be in a heated room you gotta keep them cool and shit. So that costs money, and it costs money for the lighting, costs money for the electricity for the servers, costs money to, I guess, pay the real estate tax or rent out the building where those servers are located. It all costs fucking money. And people wonder why YouTube is taking off everybody they don't like. Well, I mean. If you look at it for just from an economic standpoint, is uh, nobody's paying for this shit except YouTube. That's like going to somebody's house and going, hey, can I take a shit here on this floor? You'd be like, man, fuck you, bitch. You want, you want a fucking hole in your head? Because I got a shotgun pointed right at your motherfucking noggin. Take a shit on my fucking floor. See what fucking happens to you. Same goddamn concept. You put your fucking videos on this fucking platform, and you're basically taking a shit right on YouTube's floor. Maybe they don't like that shit. Alex Jones. Honestly, you know, it is a form of censorship, but you know what? Alex Jones is a fucking, what do they call him? Clickbait fucking specialist. Clickbait whore. Yeah, the world's coming to an end. Listen, watch my video. Watch my Alex Jones video. Uh, the fucking America is going to blow up into a... He's going to you know, blow... He's going to face an arm again. Watch this Alex Jones video. And then, you, and then you click on there and he's just talking about globalists and shit. And Obama. I don't know. The whole Newtown thing, I, I guess that was bullshit. I mean... I don't even understand the con. He, what did he say about Newtown? He said it was a hoax. I don't know if he fucking threatened violence against the people who are in Newtown or encouraging violence against those people, but I don't know. If they deep platform Alex Jones, will they deep de platform everybody else? Uh, well, as far as I know, it hasn't happened yet. People are saying this is just a fucking uh, whatever. The, the, the fucking, uh, I don't know. They're saying it's just the start of something. Um, if it does, then you know what? Build a fucking server room and start posting videos in your fucking house. You pay for the electricity and you pay for the air conditioning for those fucking servers. And uh, don't censor anybody. And you'll be fucking light years ahead of YouTube. You'll destroy YouTube. So there's your fucking answer. Get your own shit. Get your own servers. Get your own fucking whatever house. If you got a house, you can host a server. You can host fucking videos. You can host, you can have a big ass fucking whatever. 
12, 12 core server fucking terabytes of of of, uh, of, of disk space on the, on a couple of hard drive platters. And you host those fucking videos for free. See how much you like it. What if one of those fuckers host, uh, uploading videos to your fucking uh, servers, what if he calls you a piece of shit? You gonna put up with that shit? You would if you're for free speech and non-censorship. And how long are you gonna put up those fucking servers and not make any money? People are putting all kind of shit on your fucking servers. YouTube makes money off of me. I, I pay 10 bucks a month so I don't have to watch commercials on these stupid ass fucking YouTube videos because most of them are just shit videos, man. But I'd say good. A good 80, 90% just bullshit videos. I mean, most of it's just clickbait. I'm guilty of that shit. But most of that shit is just clickbait and fucking. Uh, I don't know a lot of a lot of stealing, a lot of a lot of fucking plagiarism going on, you know. So you know, whatever. Host the server room. Don't don't censor anything, and you'll and you'll fucking kick YouTube's ass. And as a matter of fact, charge like whatever, fifteen bucks a month, so people can upload their fucking videos to your servers. And then people can watch their fucking videos, the, the uploaded videos on your server. You would kill fucking YouTube. Ten bucks, fifty. You would, you would make money, and you would kill YouTube at the same time. So all you whiny bitches. Yeah, YouTube's no fucking utility. As far as I know, everybody pays for electricity. If if you don't, that means you 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 bust it into the circuit breaker and. and in your basement, and you're living fucking off of a fucking uh, raw voltage coming, you know, before it hits the circuit breaker, before it's the meter, and that's what drug dealers do. They they, they fucking take the, uh, the the wires that hit they hit the meter, and then into the circuit breaker, the electric meter. I'm talking about. They hit the wires. They they cut those wires right off, cut them right open, and, and they and they fucking feed off before it goes to the electric meter. So like, the electric company. Doesn't know shit, and 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 uh, you know they get the electricity for free, basically. So I'll do that. Still have to buy the servers. See, server costs. I don't know how much. Yeah, they have like sixteen core processors or fucking. I don't know, like zettabytes of fucking of hard drive space, hard drive space and shit. Got to have fucking networking equipment to fucking upload to the servers and, and uh, be downstream, upstream of the servers. Do all that shit for free. And maybe YouTube's got a point. Maybe you start seeing YouTube's point. I don't hear no bullshit. You know how many times I get been kicked off of fucking Twitter, suspended? At least five times. I don't know, maybe four times. Fuck them. Hey, go to gab.ai. They, they allow any motherfucking thing on there. There, they should be kicking fucking Twitter's ass. Should be no problem, man. Yeah, electronics. Yeah, I've been, uh, I've been studying the electronics, analog electronics, some, some digital electronics. Uh, let's see, what is there to know? There's the voltage drop. Say you got a circuit, a voltage source, one wire coming out of the positive lead. That leads back, that goes back to the fucking negative lead on the battery. And say, spliced in between the positive and the negative lead, there's a light bulb. And that light bulb is dropping 
four volts. Whatever, whatever comes out of that Kirchhoff's law. Have you heard of that? Now, basically, it states that, say you got a circuit, anything in between the positive and the negative leads, all those sums are supposed to lead to zero, zero volts. Because you got voltage drops across each fucking type of resisting equipment. So you got a speaker, it drops like, what do I mean by drop? It goes, it, 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 it has voltage running through it to make it whatever, output sound. And in that process, it takes away voltage from that circuit. So hence the term dropping voltage. It drops whatever, 2 volts, 3 volts. Say you got a fucking 12-volt uh, 12 12 volt battery source. All 12 volts are being dropped on that fucking speaker. And out comes back to negative 0 volts. Kirchhoff's Law. Say you got a wire, or say you got a, I don't know, what happens is, yeah, if you put a 12 volt to a battery, if you put 12 volts across a bat or 12 volts across a light, you're dropping 12 volts across that fucking light. That, that, that light is, re, is, re, is consuming voltage. At the tune of 12 volts. So on the other side where the negative side of the, of the light goes back to the, goes back to the, the, the negative lead goes back to the battery. Yeah. After the light, zero volts. Before, before the light, at the positive side of the, of the light, 12 volts. After, zero volts. Kirchhoff's law. You put another fucking light. You put another light, it takes another fucking, where it takes four volts or whatever. Now you got fucking, it doesn't take four volts. I, 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 it takes like, you got one light and you got another fucking light, depending on the wattage. Wattage, watts equals, volts equals amps. Wattage equals voltage times amps. So whatever the wattage rating of the fucking light bulb equals the amount of voltage. So if it's a 60 watt light bulb and you got fucking, and you got two amps going through that fucking circuit, and you got a 12 volt source, since so 60 watts, oh, let me see, you got 60 watts equals 12 volts, 60 watts of the light bulb equals 12 volts of the battery. And then you want to figure out the amperage. Let's see. Um, how would you? How would you? How would you do that? Sixty volts equals watts times amperage. Okay. Yeah. So it'll be five amps. Five times twelve equals sixty. Five amps times twelve volts equals sixty. So it's five amps. Yeah. So, Cardin Kirchhoff's law: all fucking resistors in a in a in a circuit, all their sums equal up to zero. I don't know how you how to explain that. I don't even get it myself, but that's what happens. I mean, I'm not so familiar with this electricity as I thought it would be. I know a little. Say a transistor. You got a bipolar transistor. You got MOSFET transistors. You got junction field effect transistors. MOSFET means metal, metal oxide semiconductor field effect transistor. Basically, all transistors have, th have one thing in common. They all have a collector. They have an emitter and they have a base. 
basically, uh, if you apply voltage to a base, it, it's basically like a, it's what they call a gate. They, they also call they also call a base a gate. And they got a source and drain. The, the transistors, they got a gate, source, and drain. So, apply voltage to the gate, the gate opens up, and electricity from the source, it goes to the drain. So, basically, transistor means transfer resistor, transfer resistance. It's transferring resistance, either away from that fucking source drain connection, or it's transferring resistance to that source strain connection. When it transfers resistance to the source strain connection, it's blocking voltage. It's blocking whatever amperage and current from going from source to drain. See what I'm saying? When you apply voltage to the gate, the gate swings open, not literally, but the gate opens up and it allows amperage current to go from source to drain and basically turn on whatever you're trying to turn on. It's a switch. Now MOSFETs, same thing, source drain gate. But they allow a lot of current going through. Typical bipolar transistor only allows about 0 0.7 volts through it. A MOSFET, you can stick a lot of current, a lot of voltage in that fucking transistor, and it won't blow up. Junction field effect transistor, JFET, um... I think the thing with that is it doesn't leak current. So if, if you have a very sensitive line or or you have a lot of sensitive circuitry surrounding that transistor, it won't leak current. It's more resilient, more resilient, more resistant to current leakage. The J fence, the MOSFETs, they allow a lot of current going through, but they have do have they have some leakage. Get into capacitors. Capacitors store charges. A capacitor, a ceramic capacitor, has fucking uh, two metal plates, and in between the two metal plates, there's a, a resistant uh, ceramic uh, material. So basically, that setup will store. Uh, electrical energy. It also will filter out a line. It will filter lines, you know. Capacitors, they pass fucking, uh, they pass alternating current really easily, but they, but they uh, block di uh, direct current. Alternating current is basically, it's a, it's a sine wave. It's a wave with a bunch of hills and valleys. You see, ever seen an oscilloscope? Put an electrical wave, or put an alternating current wave onto an oscilloscope. You see nothing but hills and valleys, big long fucking waves. Direct current is just fucking straight line. The plot, the capacitors, they block direct current going through, and they uh, let uh, allow fucking alternating current to go through. Yeah, they block DC current, direct current, and they allow alternating current. So, say you have a, a line, you need a, a very pure, like, straight line signal going into whatever computer chip or uh, the signal line. You want to put a bunch of capacitors on that line to filter out the AC, or filter, yeah, filter out the AC, that's that fucking squiggly looking, ugly ass fucking, whatever, jagged ass line. You want a nice straight line? straight line of current and voltage going to whatever you need to go to, put a bunch of capacitors on there. They'll drain out all the squiggly line shit, make you a nice, straight, clean line of voltage and amperage. That's what capacitors do as well. 
Volt source like power supplies. They're loaded with capacitors. They store voltage. That's why they say, you know, allow some time before you open like a, open up something. Because it'll store a lot of voltage if it has capacitors in it. Now, inductors or inductors are nothing but coils. And what they do is they uh, they get energized with uh, current. And uh, whenever you uh, whenever you pass current, when you, whenever you uh, induce voltage into a to a wire, it uh it radiates magnetic lines away from it. And uh, if you shut that wire, shut off the uh, the wire real fast, those magnetic magnetic lines com collapse back into the fucking the circuit and and, and generate a, a high a high amount of current. So imagine a coil wound up about whatever 150 times, real tight and shit. You energize that shit. All these magnetic these magnetic lines get get fucking like start radiating out of that fucking that coil. And then you turn it off, all that magnetic lines collapse back into the fucking inductor, that coil. They generate a huge amount of current and voltage. That's what you have a fucking for a, an inductor. So that's how you get 19 volts. That's how you get the five. That's how you get the five volts, one amp from coming from your wall charger into your fucking phone. That fucking five volts goes into that coil, or it actually comes in at 3.3 volts. Trust me on it. Does goes it goes down to like 3.3 volts into your phone. That 3.3 volts goes to an inductor. That inductor gets switched on and off rapidly, whatever millions of times a second or whatever hundreds of times a second generates 19 volts. That 19 volts goes straight to the backlight of your battery. Gives you that nice white backlight so you can see what the fuck you're doing on your phone. That's why your battery soaks up. So much. That's why your battery gets drained so so much by the backlight because it, it's it's it that backlight sucking out 19 volts. Sucking out 19 volts. You know, generally it needs just to bring current current sucker. If you look on whatever your resources, of your settings for your phone, what's the number one fucking uh, user of uh, fucking battery? What's the number one drainage of battery? The, the backlight. It's a huge fucking energy consumption. The huge current consumption on your phone drains that battery real quick. If you have your fucking brightness set up real good. Ah. Uh. What else can I tell you? Resistors, basically anything, anything in the circuit is a resistor. Light bulbs are resistor. It resists fucking current. It, it drops voltage. It's a form of a resistor. Anything that fucking blocks electric current or consumes electric current and outputs it as heat or uh, as a light or Whatever, it, it, it's resisting. So, you know, anything be, can be a resistor, not just a plain old ceramic re resistor with the fucking ohm rating on it. <clears throat> Ohm's law. Voltage equals resistance times current. I don't know why I'm telling you that, but it does. Mux. Mux. Demuxing. You heard of that shit? So he got a fucking uh, a digital signal. Ones and zeros. And you want to convert it to uh, you want to convert, convert it into uh, what they call computer language, like not computer language, but machine language, which is uses a hexadecimal number system, you know, 
1 through 10 is 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 1 all the way up to 10 for 10 but then in the 11 to uh, I think it's uh, 16 is A through F. Yeah, let's see. A, B, C, D, E, F. Yeah. A through F. So you got to go from ones and zeros to machine language, which only understands hexadecimal numbers. So demuxing takes care of that. It'll convert a digital fucking signal, ones and zeros, to, to machine language. The way your phone stores information is in a storage space. And that uses, from what I hear, if you have a NAND storage in your phone of about 32 gigabytes, that means you have 32 billion transistors onto a little fucking NAND storage chip about, I don't know, half inch wide by quarter inch. You have 32 billion transistors storing ones and zeros on that little 30, that little fucking half inch by quarter inch chip that is soldered onto your fucking uh, motherboard, and your phone. The way they do that is they use the basically like a, a zoom, a negative zoom. Say so you're on your computer and you want to make the fucking the print so small you can't even read this shit. Go negative on that. See how small you can get it. Same thing with the fucking putting the transistors onto that NAND storage. Somehow they zoom, zoom it, negative zoom it out so small they can put it onto the fucking the chip. I don't know how the fuck they do that. I think they etch like big silicon wafers. And then they uh, somehow burn a pattern into that or use an acid or some shit. And they're able to make transistors out of that. Because transistors ain't nothing but fucking silicon or germanium with the fucking a doping, a doping ingredient added to it. But for your computer, like your desktop, those big sticks around, they use uh, flip-flop gates. And uh, basically they, they store a charge, those flip-flop gates. So when your computer turns off, all that, all that, all that, all the programs that went into your, your RAM memory, all the electricity goes out of that shit, and, you, and it gets it gets erased. That's where you find flip flops is in your RAM memory. <clears throat> what else? <clears throat> Guess I'd like to get into the pyramids. I'll probably return back to the electronics topic, but the pyramids, all right, it's already been debunked a million times over. You can go on YouTube and look at all the videos saying humans did not build that shit. 
At least the at least the shit that stood up. At least that shit that's like thousands of years old, you know, and it's still standing in perfect condition and shit. Humans didn't make that shit. Now, whoever made that shit, obviously, they ain't nowhere around on Earth. Because they ain't laying claim to that shit. The pyramids. So, where the fuck did they go? And why haven't they come back to reclaim their fucking pyramids? Either It's either A, they don't want to come back because they're dead or because they found something better. That means there's something better out there than Earth. Or maybe there's something worse and we all die. For some reason, I think whoever built that left that as a sign, the humans, that, you know what, uh, you got to get the fuck off this planet eventually, because there's something better out there. I mean, there's shit, those pyramids are made with technology we can't even recreate the per- the pyramids. Humans didn't build that the pyramids, and they can't re- recreate the fucking building of the pyramids. Not with the not with the type of stone they used to create those pyramids. So it begs the question: Why haven't the people or whatever built those pyramids? Why haven't they come back to reclaim their shit? I mean, I know why they left it there is to remind to remind humans that uh, uh, they're not the ones who originally came here on the earth. And it's to remind us that um, something else was on here before us. And it's also to remind us that uh, we need to find ways to get the fuck off this planet eventually or as soon as possible or I don't know when, but we got to get the fuck off this planet. Because whoever built those pyramids thought this place this place is a waste of time. So what the fuck are humans doing on this planet? I mean, there's something out there uh, better. Or worse, who knows? Who knows where those people went or whatever the fuck they were. Oh, yeah. Donald Trump. <clears throat> yeah, Democrats, they need, uh, Democrats need 218, 218 fucking seats in the House to impeach Donald Trump. All 435 seats are up for re-election. United States House Representatives. So 435 total are up for re-election and the Democrats need 218 to gain control of the House and then, you know, and start the articles of impeachment for Donald Trump. And uh, they're going to do it no matter what the fuck, whatever, no matter what's found. They're going to try to impeach Donald Trump if they get fucking, uh, if they get control of the House. So, it's imperative that you fucking vote Republican for your United States House Representatives, officials, whoever, whoever represents your district. You need to vote Republican because, like I said, they're going to impeach Trump if you put a Democrat, 218 Democrats in there.
which I don't know why they want, you know, they get pension there, boy, oh boy, they, they think Donald Trump's bad, boy, they would just watch what Pence, watch what Pence is like, <laughs> you ain't seen nothing there, Democrats, you dumbasses. Uh, what else? often thought of becoming president or running for president. I mean, the general trend is to send motherfuckers in there who hate the way fucking business is done in Washington, D.C. I mean, that's who people are electing. They elected Obama because he was a fucking supposedly, he, he would go against the system. But he, he, he literally did none of the things that he said he was going to do. And so Trump gets in there and he comes in there like, yeah, I'm going to drain the fucking swamp. And he's kind of doing it. But the general trend is to find people who either hate that system or don't give a fuck the system about the system. And they're going to do whatever the fuck they want. Which Trump is doing pretty much, you know, he's pretty much living up to his campaign promises. Most of them. If I got in the, if I got into the office, Oval Office. Yeah, I would get rid of fucking all the federal income tax. I'd get rid of all the fucking uh, fucking. Uh, what is it? Department of Education. I get rid of that. Department of fucking uh, natural resources or whatever. Get rid of that shit. Get rid of, I get rid of the fucking artists, whatever. National Endowment for the Arts. I get rid of that shit. Get rid of a lot of that shit. If any, I would allow immigrants in there because who's going to pick the grapes, you know? <laughs> but they don't get no welfare. They don't get to go to the clinics and shit and get, get free help either. They come into this country and they work. And maybe after five years, and they got to pay taxes, and maybe after five years of paying fucking taxes, then they get their citizenship. You'd have to earn your citizenship. The only way to do it in my ass is by working. No free handouts. No food stands for your ass. No food stands for your fucking ass. No welfare. None of that shit. You get none. You'd have to earn your way. Uh, foreign policy. What I do? I don't know. Let's face it. The Middle East. The only reason we're up the Middle East ass because they have a lot of fucking oil there. So does Venezuela. Venezuela supposedly has the largest oil reserves in the world. And we're up Venezuela's ass. We're trying to fucking get Chavez out or whatever his fucking name is. What is his name? Hugo Chavez? Venezuelan president? We're trying to fuck with the elections there. <laughs> Uh, 
Um, healthcare. Uh, I don't know what single payer is. I, I ain't fucking looked it up, but. I don't know what I would do with healthcare. I would definitely let stem cell research thrive. Stem cell research, you know. What else is there? Yeah, I mean, I don't give a fuck. Whether it's from a fucking umbilical cord from a mom or whatever. If it's stem cells, it can regenerate tissue in your body. Avoid you a lot of fucking pain and agony and disease. Why not just let it? I have no fucking qualms with any religion. I'm not, I wouldn't re- mix religion into the stuff. Stem cell research. All those Christians go to fucking hell for all I care. The religious aspect, um, yeah, it'd be freedom of religion. Uh, all the spying. Government spies on, United States government spies on Americans. Let's face it. Either at your local level or your national level. And uh, now they can do it electronically. With not, without you even knowing about it, through your cell phone, through through fucking cell phone ways being communicated from your phone to a cell phone tower, government officials now have the ability to mimic that cell phone tamer and tower and make the fucking data and the fucking voice communications from your cell phone go through their little machine called a stingray. They can read that data and, and decrypt it and look at what you're fucking talking about and Listen to all their text messages and all, and, and, and look at what you're looking on YouTube and shit. Well, whatever they they're already doing that, and they do that without a warrant. They could easily do that without a warrant. So who knows? It's Big Brother. What would I do about that? I don't know. Has it thwarted any fucking terrorists? I heard a couple of years back there was they were planning a fucking they were planning something to, to blow up Sears Tower. Arabs, Muslims, I don't know who the fuck it was, something along those lines. And somehow it got fucking uh, they got thrown off course. They basically the FBI, whoever, NSA broke that shit up before it happened. Thank God, because you take down a Sears Tower, you're fucking, it's a big-ass building. You're, you're taking out pretty much, I don't know, a good, a good probably 500,000 people easily. It's a big-ass fucking building. That thing comes down, shit, you're taking out at least a fucking whatever, radius of one mile all around that fucking epicenter of the blast. And they, all the buildings around that shit. So thank God that got fucking averted. I don't know. I, I released the 9-11 documents. Why not? Nothing be redacted. Same with the Kennedy assassination. I release all that shit. Aliens, all that shit will be getting released. I would uh fucking um 
I test every fucking child who enters into kindergarten with an eye test and with the test for convergence insufficiency. Food stamps. Um... I would get rid of all fucking child support. All al- all alimony and child support laws, I'd get rid of them. Here's how I would set it up. Say two people have a child. Whoever is the custodial parent would keep an itemized list of what they spent on that child. And whoever is a non-custodial parent would pay half of the cost of for the upbringing of that child. They would pay half, not a percentage of their fucking check. They would pay half of the actual cost of what it takes to take care of a child. Right now, child support is a fucking profit-making endeavor for women. As well as alimony. That would all get taken out. So the profit would be removed from alimony, marriage, and childbearing. There wouldn't be this big fucking carrot dangling at the end of the stick for women to sit there and spread their legs open like fucking whores that they are and spit out fucking shit out fucking babies left and right so they can go collect fucking child support and welfare and God knows what else they're getting for fucking free. So all that would be taken care of real quick. Taxes. Well, since I'm cutting everything, fucking, there would be no need for a federal income tax. Only thing I would leave money for is the military and uh, infrastructure. Highways and shit. That's the only thing the government should be involved in, honestly. Keeping the country safe and uh, keeping up the infrastructure, the, the roads and highways and the sewer systems and the electrical grid and the fucking natural gas pipelines and shit. That's what the government should be taking care of, you know? All this bullshit with the fucking arts and shit. The government ain't supposed to protect and fucking spotted owls and shit. The government has no right to do that shit. Um, taxes fucking fucking uh, obstruct liberty. Taxes obstruct happiness. Trump lowered taxes, but not enough. You lower taxes, you would definitely have to fucking start cutting shit. The NEA, National Endowment for Outs, would be gone. Department of Education be gone. Uh, I don't know. A lot of those departments would be fucking out, of, out the fucking door, man. Right, do. Um, Let's see 
what else can I do? It's a good ass question. Foreign policy. Honestly, I wouldn't do all these trade wars because I want cheap stuff to come in here. And if I, you know, if American companies can't compete, then fuck them. You know, they can't compete. Everybody would have a fucking equal level playing field, and whoever fucking wins. Wins. There ain't being no fucking. The business tax will go away and the tariffs will go away. There won't be any tariffs. There wasn't be any business tax. So everybody be playing a level field and let the fucking free market determine who should be fucking developing products, making products, making cars, whatever. Let the free market decide. Foreign policy. Well, you only got two major... I uh, actually got... I don't know. You got about... You got about three nuclear powers. You got Russia, you got China, and India. Australia has them, England has them as well. France, whatever, all pretty much all of Europe, some parts of Asia, and Eastern Europe. No country in South and, and uh, Africa has that fucking nuclear power shit, nuclear uh, fucking missiles. So fuck them. That would be my old thing. Yeah, we need oil. So let's just be honest about it. I wouldn't I wouldn't be like fucking dilly dallying about the bush and shit saying I care about you know human rights and shit when all I'm looking for is fucking a you know big fucking pool of pool of oil is stuck in the ground I need to suck up out of the to feed the country's fucking infrastructure. I don't want to be sitting there dilly dallying about that shit. Yeah, we want your fucking oil. Either you give it to us peacefully, or we gotta take it forcefully. What are you gonna do about it, motherfucker? We got nukes. We got a fucking. We got the we got the largest fucking uh, military in the fucking world. We fucking surpass everybody militarily by tenfold at least. Including the Russians and the Chinese put together. So what are you gonna fucking do about it? I'd start pushing. I'd start pushing my weight around, man. Yeah, America. America's a fucking consumes a lot of fucking energy, man. And we, we want your shit. We want your oil. We want your electricity or whatever. However, fucking feed us. That's what we're pretty much doing right now. But we sit there and try to like gloss over with that bullshit hearts and minds bullshit. Hey, it's America, you know. You know how you play like the fucking whatever those fucking role playing games on your little computer. You're plotting out fucking your little kingdom with your fucking video games and shit. You're playing like your little king and shit. You got a bunch of like peasants, and fucking villagers underneath your fuck, underneath your fucking uh, your rule. What are you trying to do? You try to fucking protect the peasants, and you try to fucking go out and conquer other fucking kingdoms. In hopes of getting their shit so you can use it for your people. Also, I would just, I would start instituting IQ tests. 
any anything anybody below 85 IQ they would have to be um, I don't know <clears throat> anybody below 85 IQ I mean, they're already segregated. I don't know what I'd do with those 85 below IQ people. Because you don't know whose IQ is what, so they might be fucking millionaires. It's highly unlikely, but there's still a possibility. What else would I do? I get rid of all speed limits on the fucking uh, the expressways, the highways, the freeways. If you're going on a fucking uh, in an interstate highway and shit, no speed limits. Drugs, yeah. All drugs would be allowed. It'd be fucking be produced by the government, sold by the government, everything be accounted for. So there, there's a fact, there's a fucking massive income, income resource that would be owned and produced by the government and profited for the government. And all the druggies could fucking drug it up as much as they fucking wanted to. You get rid of all the drug dealers. You get rid of every fucking... There, there would be no reason probably to have no fucking border because because there would be no reason to have fucking sell your drugs here. That's the main cause of the fucking whatever. The violence in this country. country. All criminals, they eventually go to drugs. The mob was just mostly about racketeering and fucking uh, whatever. Uh, telling businesses to give them some fucking protection money and shit. And then they eventually went to cocaine because it's profitable and shit. So all that would be taken away from them. The government would be producing all that shit. And they'd probably, they'd probably sell it at a cheaper rate than the fucking drug dealers. The drug dealers would be put out of business. It'd be an economic fucking, uh, an economic war with the drug dealers. No more of this fucking prison bullshit, filling up the prisons. That's not how you treat Americans. You don't put them in prisons just because they fucking bought some drugs. <coughs> I don't know. You got to look at America as a it has a certain trajectory, an upward trajectory. We grow and we grow and we grow. We get wealthier and wealthier and wealthier. And the more wealth that's produced, you know, 
the more wealth that's produced, everybody becomes wealthy, not just the rich. Middle class, lower class, even the retards with the, the, with the lower level IQs and shit. They get rich, or have jobs at least. Guess I'm done ranting. <clears throat> oh, all right. Sick of hearing my voice. That'll conclude my 70th talking from my ass. Good luck doing whatever the fuck you're doing. <laughs>